What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We got our hands on the Osmo Pocket, the newest gimbal from DJI. If those of you that follow my channel know I am a huge DJI fan. I've had quite a few of their drones from the Mavic Air to the Mavic Pro to the Tello that they helped create as well. Uh, I actually do have the Osmos Mobile as well. However, I don't ever use it just because it's so inconvenient to have to set your phone up, carry something that large around. So when they announced this pocket, I was really excited to get my hands on it and check it out. And here it is today. This is a very, very capable three axis gimbal that has a little one inch touch screen. It does record at 4K 60. It has 120 frames per second at 1080 it is fully loaded a lot of people are comparing this to like the new GoPros uh, and the GoPro Hero 7 which is somewhat comparable to it however one is more of an action camera this is literally a three axis gimbal and has a physical stabilizer instead of just the OIS on the uh, the GoPros having said that I want to go ahead and unbox this for you give you an idea of how small it is and then I'll be doing a lot of hands-on footage in the next week or so with this device. Let's go ahead and cut into it and see what comes in the box. One thing I was a little disappointed about is there is a charging case for this that is not even available on DJI's website yet, uh, which is very unfortunate to hear. There, This comes with a little case, however, it is not a charging case, and I am all about convenience. All right, you can see it comes with a couple little information cards. We'll go ahead and pluck those to the side, take the cover off, and there we go. This baby is tiny. I mean, it fits right in the palm of my hands. It does feel pretty well built, though. It is. It does have some heft to it. We'll set that aside. Here is the case that comes with it just a simple little carrying case there is no charging aspect to it like I said unfortunately comes with your tips that you're gonna attach to the device to connect your phone the only two that come in here are going to be a lightning adapter and a USB-C adapter so micro USB is not compatible with this yet they might send an adapter out later and make it available to purchase however keep that in mind right off the bat if you have an older phone that does not use USB type C yet this will not work for you here is the charger of the gimbal it is a USB C connector you got a little lanyard and all of your informational booklets I'm not gonna worry about that now I'll set that down to the side more so what you guys came to see is this little gimbal the three axis stabilizer right here it looks phenomenal. I really can't express to you how tiny it is. Uh, it really does look good. I'm going to see if I can find the uh, Osmos Mobile 2 that I have and do a side by side for you guys. Alright, guys, so as you can see, here is the Osmo Pocket. And are you guys ready to see this? Just look at how massive it is in comparison. I mean, I would never want to carry this around with me if I could have something like this that is more than capable. Yes, it's a higher price point. Yes, it's about $350 right now. However, for convenience, this is phenomenal. Guys, like I said, I never carried this around with me just because of how inconvenient it was when I'm traveling or even just taking my dog to the dog park with. Phones are really good enough nowadays that have, you know, OIS and EIS built in. However, the functionality you get with this blows it away. I can't wait to put it to the test. I just wanted to give you guys this quick unboxing and hands-on with the device and the comparison. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you going to be picking one up? Is it a little overpriced? Or are you ready to get your hands on it as well? Till next time, guys. Thumbs up this channel. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up to the video. And stay tuned for the next.